Hey guys, Stucky here. You ever wanted to try the best version of the Action Network app? Well, now is the perfect opportunity to do so because we have a special offer to celebrate the month of March and the NCAA tournament. You can get pro access for just $9.99 for the first month. That will give you access to things like Sean Kerner's player prop projections, which are invaluable, real-time money percentages, and our model's biggest edges, and much more. All you have to do is head over to actionnetwork.com slash madness. That's actionnetwork.com slash madness and get there before the deal expires. Cheers. We do have two more leagues to get to. Give you a couple minutes on each. Calabrese, let's start. Where do you want to start? Do you want to start in the SWAC or the MIAC? Let's go MIAC first. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the breakdown on the favorite to win it and then the team that I like as a sleeper. Norfolk at plus 180. Listen, they attack you a lot, so they get to the line. They force a ton of turnovers, nearly 20% of opponent possessions, but they can't shoot very well. That's not that's not any news. The entire conference can't shoot. But their path, they get the 8 seed, they get Coppin, then either Howard or Morgan State. They swept those three teams. So I think this is a cakewalk for them to the title game. So I, I don't think there's any value necessarily at plus 180, but it makes sense in how they're priced. But I'm going to go ahead and take South Carolina State plus 550. Second best team in the MEAC down the stretch, according to Torvik. The only team in the league that can play defense at all. They have, you know, they're basically like 70 spots higher than everybody else in Ken Palm D. And freshman Mitchell Taylor got hurt in their overtime loss to Norfolk, leaving the game with zero points. Taking them to overtime without him just shows what their potential is with him back. I like them to get over the hump in the title game if they get a rematch. So 11 to 2, I think is plenty of value there in the MAC, or the MIAC, I should say. Yeah, Norfolk State will benefit from this being played in Norfolk. It is a eight team bracket no buys and you know starts uh march 13th championship on march 16th norfolk state runs the little funky amoeba zone uh that can give teams trouble but uh, i don't hate that call at all and moving on to the SWAC, your beloved SWAC, woody uh which was wild over the weekend Alabama, one of the wildest games that probably no one was paying attention to was Alabama State. Uh, they had a crazy game against Grambling. Grambling tied it at the buzzer to force overtime. Then Alabama State hit uh, tied it at the buzzer to force um, double overtime. And then Alabama State ended up winning it. Because of that, Alabama State ended up making – the field as the eight seed pine bluff was out i think due to scoring margin is what it came down to alabama state will now face grambling again uh in the first round of the quarterfinals this will take place at in birmingham alabama this like the miak 18 bracket no buys march 13th through 16th what are you seeing in your beloved swag so there's a reason that Grambling is the one seed, but third in terms of the odds. Like they're just vulnerable because they turn it over way too much, over 14 times per game, which is bottom 30 in all of D1. And like the rest of the teams, it's a common theme when you get to these conferences, MIAC, SWAC, whoever, they can't shoot. They're 272nd in shooting efficiency. I'll actually go for the first time in all these previews with the favorite at plus 280. If you can get them three to one, if you shop around a little bit, I'll go Alcorn. Much better on the offensive end. The best offensive rebounding team in the conference by a wide margin. Their four best players, all seniors, including Jeremiah Kendall, who averages 16 and 7. And like most of their starters, they got they drew Mississippi Valley State in the season finale. They got to rest them. So they're going to have fresh legs, senior-laden team. I see them easily winning this tournament. So to get them at 3-1, to one, I think is the best bet. All right. That'll do it. Every single conference tournament hit. It's finally March, so you know what that means. It's time to say top of the morning to the most famous St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shavers, our new sponsor, Manscaped. Don't just chase rainbows this March. Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders and below the kilt care. Clear your clover forest with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com and use code BBOC for 20% off 
plus free shipping. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is your new lucky charm, and it's fully waterproof. So go ahead, shave by the Misty Moors, shave under a waterfall, shave while betting a second half total. The world is yours. Get 20% off and free shipping with code BBOC at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code BBOC at manscaped.com. This St. Patrick's Day, make sure your hairy little leprechaun is luckier than ever with Manscaped. Manscaped. 